Hi, this is Brett Tepke. We're back here again at VMX09 in Austin, Texas, and joining me now is Clay Nichols, of, uh, also of Dad Labs. We just talked to Troy a little bit ago. Uh, you can catch that video on our site uh, as well. Uh, Clay is the uh, Chief Creative Officer at uh, Dad Labs, and actually that's kind of a loaded title. Yeah, it's, what, it's the, all that would fit on the card. Um, I was going to make it longer um, because I think that makes me more important. Um, and uh, that was all that would fit, so we went with that. It, mostly I think I'm Chief Creative Officer because uh, I'm the guy that has the MFA. I have like the, the, the least valuable uh, degree um, of anybody in the company, so creative seemed to go with me. Well, we find that a lot in marketing, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing happens in, in marketing a lot. And, um, how do you guys come up with all this content? Obviously, it's coming out of your own experiences in life. Uh, how do you keep doing it episode after episode after episode? Well, you know, we're, we're at about 415 episodes, about 415 videos so far. And, I, you know, the one, I worry about a lot of things in our company. One of the things I never worry about is coming up with ideas for a show. I mean, just every day at home, I've got three kids, mine are 10 and 7 and 4, every day, you know, I, I feel like I'm skipping over 15 things. I mean, we have, we've got 400 episodes, I haven't even started talking about sports yet. You know, there's probably another 800 episodes just in soccer, on the sideline. What kind of chair to get? Why not to wear your socks up high, or your son will make fun of you, like mine does. <laughs> yeah, one of the things we did with Troy was we kind of had him go through... Uh, a daily shoot, what, what was all involved for him. Now, now what's your side of the, the business look like? Um, well, I'm, you know, uh, chief creative officer. You know, I uh, write scripts. Um, I spend a lot of time uh, blogging, writing for the site, uh, working on social media. Um, business development also kind of falls to me. I do, uh, you know, a fair amount uh, of also on the, on the business side of things, um, making relationships, selling ads. I mean, in our company, everybody has to kind of do everything. Um, but a typical shoot for me is, um, you know, uh, coming up with an idea, writing a script, sitting down with guys, bouncing ideas around, passing the script around a little bit, getting some feedback, uh, and of course preparing and, um, and usually hosting the shows. And then once the show is done and produced, trying to promote it, get people to watch it. Excellent. Uh, one thing we always hear, we, I go to a lot of video conferences and search marketing conferences, and one of the things we always hear from, from video people is at this point in 2009, if you're thinking about starting video, don't. It's, it, it's just so expensive right now. And you guys have seemed to find this niche in a business model that works for you with, uh, uh, at, at this point it appears, one large sponsor uh, kind of underwriting the whole show. Um, wh how do you see that working going forward? Well, you know, one of the things that I think um, was fortunate for us is we, we sort of picked a niche in a space where there wasn't really a whole lot there. I mean, if you think about it, you know, what's for dads? All of parenting is sort of owned by moms. And so there was a big sort of market opportunity in our, in, in, in our perception. Um, and, and so that's one of the ways that we were able to, to sort of get in, establish ourselves, and kind of start to own that brand a little bit. Um, you know... Uh, so if you are starting now, I'd say that you have to look for those sort of gaps and spaces, you know, where there's an opportunity. And one of the really important things is as you're sort of envisioning this, this video business, is there sort of an attached industry or sponsorship group? I mean, obviously with fatherhood, we have the whole infant, toddler, preschool sort of, uh, it's a multi-billion dollar business that is a natural uh, advertiser for us. As the brand has sort of built, you know, we're able to move beyond just advertising dollars. We just published a book, uh, Dad Lab's Guide to Fatherhood. We have DVDs, um, and so and 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 also we're we're sort of exploring the possibilities with broadcast. So that's how our business is kind of growing. Um, I think that more and more companies, more businesses are comfortable with online video and see the opportunity there as being really cost effective and a place where they have to, they have to be creating brand awareness. So right now, Baby Bjorn is sponsoring us, but uh, the second half of the year, we're going to add a second advertiser and, and um, Baby Bjorn wants to extend, but we're going we're gonna to bring in a partner for them. So, uh, you know, we're, we're currently working on that. Excellent. Well, continued success to you. Thank you so much for the time. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Appreciate it.